Imagine a heavy backpack filled with rocks, you carry it everywhere. Each rock represents a mistake, a regret, a perceived failure. This is the burden of self-criticism. Now, imagine gently setting down that backpack. Feel the relief, the lightness that comes with self-compassion. Many of us struggle to offer ourselves this kindness. We judge ourselves harshly for our imperfections. We dwell on mistakes, allowing shame and guilt to fester. This inner critic can be relentless, whispering doubts and fueling insecurities. But there's another way. Self-compassion offers a path to healing and wholeness. It's about treating ourselves with the same care and understanding we offer to a loved one who is hurting. Let's explore how to cultivate this powerful force in our lives. Self-criticism can feel like a constant companion. That inner voice berates us for our flaws, amplifies our insecurities, and undermines our confidence. It tells us we're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. This harsh self-judgment takes a toll on our well-being. Studies show that self-criticism is linked to anxiety, depression, and relationship problems. It can lead to procrastination, perfectionism, and a fear of failure. When we're trapped in a cycle of self-criticism, it's hard to see our strengths and celebrate our accomplishments. We become our own worst enemy, hindering our growth and potential. It's time to break free from this destructive pattern and embrace a more compassionate way of being. Self-compassion is not about letting ourselves off the hook or ignoring our mistakes. It's about acknowledging our flaws and understanding that making mistakes is a natural part of being human. It's about recognizing that we are human and humans are imperfect by nature. This recognition allows us to be more forgiving and gentle with ourselves. It's about offering ourselves the same kindness and understanding we would offer a friend going through a difficult time. Imagine how you would comfort a friend. Now turn that compassion inward. Research shows that self-compassion is linked to numerous benefits. These benefits extend to both our mental and physical well-being. People who practice self-compassion tend to be happier, more resilient, and have stronger relationships. They are better equipped to handle life's ups and downs. They are more likely to take care of their physical and mental health. This includes engaging in activities that promote well-being, such as exercise, healthy eating, and mindfulness practices. Self-compassion also helps us cope with setbacks and challenges. It provides us with the emotional support needed to persevere. Instead of dwelling on failures, we can approach them with curiosity and a growth mindset. This shift in perspective allows us to see failures as opportunities for learning and growth. We can learn from our mistakes and move forward with greater self-awareness and resilience. This ongoing process of self-improvement is fueled by self-compassion. In essence, self-compassion is a powerful antidote to the suffering caused by self-criticism. It empowers us to live more fulfilling and balanced lives. Emerging research in neuroscience and psychology is revealing the transformative power of self-compassion. This field of study is uncovering how our brains and minds respond to the practice of being kind to ourselves. Studies show that practicing self-compassion activates the brain's caregiving system, releasing oxytocin and other feel-good hormones. These hormones play a crucial role in enhancing our mood and overall mental health. This creates a sense of safety, security, and well-being. When we feel safe, our bodies and minds can function more effectively, allowing us to thrive in various aspects of life. Self-compassion also helps regulate our emotions. By being kind to ourselves, we can better manage our emotional responses, leading to a more balanced and stable state of mind. When we're feeling stressed or overwhelmed, self-compassion can soothe our nervous system and reduce feelings of anxiety and fear. This calming effect is essential for maintaining mental health in challenging times. It helps us approach difficult situations with greater calm and clarity. Moreover, self-compassion fosters resilience, enabling us to face life's challenges with a stronger, more positive mindset. When we encounter setbacks, self-compassion allows us to bounce back more quickly. This resilience is key to overcoming obstacles and continuing on our path to success. Instead of dwelling on our failures, we can offer ourselves understanding and support, which empowers us to learn and grow from our experiences. This growth mindset is crucial for personal development and achieving our goals. In a nutshell, science is proving what our hearts already know. Self-compassion is essential for our well-being. By embracing self-kindness, we can lead healthier, happier, and more fulfilling lives. Section 5. Forgiveness, Releasing the Past Forgiveness is an integral part of self-compassion. 
Often we hold on to past hurts, replaying old grievances and harboring resentment. This can keep us stuck in cycles of anger, guilt, and shame. Forgiving ourselves and others doesn't mean condoning harmful actions. It simply means choosing to release the burden of the past and move forward with a lighter heart. It's about acknowledging that everyone makes mistakes, including ourselves, and that holding on to anger hurts us more than anyone else. When we practice forgiveness, we free ourselves from the weight of the past. We create space for healing, growth, and new possibilities. It's a gift we give ourselves and others, paving the way for greater peace and happiness. Section 6. Practical Steps to Self-Compassion Cultivating self-compassion is an ongoing practice, but it can be learned and strengthened over time. It's not something that happens overnight, but with consistent effort, you can make significant progress. Here are some practical steps to get started. 1. Notice your self-talk. This is the internal dialogue that runs through your mind throughout the day. Pay attention to how you speak to yourself. Are you gentle and encouraging, or do you often criticize and belittle yourself? Are your thoughts kind and supportive, or are they harsh and judgmental? Recognizing this is the first step towards change. Start to challenge negative self-talk and replace it with more compassionate language. 2. Practice self-kindness. This means being gentle with yourself, especially during tough times. Treat yourself with the same care and understanding you would offer a close friend. Imagine what you would say to a friend in your situation and say those words to yourself. When you're struggling, offer yourself words of comfort and encouragement. Remind yourself that it's okay to make mistakes and that you're learning and growing. Remember that you're doing the best you can. It's important to acknowledge your efforts and give yourself credit for trying. 3. Acknowledge your common humanity. Understand that suffering and imperfection are part of the human experience. Remember that you're not alone in your struggles. Everyone faces challenges and setbacks. Everyone experiences pain, failure, and imperfection. Accepting this can help you be more compassionate towards yourself. Connecting with this shared human experience can help you feel less isolated and more supported. By recognizing that others share similar struggles, you can foster a sense of belonging and empathy. Section 7. Mindfulness, the key to awareness. Mindfulness plays a crucial role in cultivating self-compassion. Mindfulness is about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It's about observing our thoughts, feelings, and sensations with curiosity and openness. When we're mindful, we become more aware of our self-critical thoughts and their impact on our well-being. We can then choose to respond to these thoughts with self-compassion rather than self-judgment. Mindfulness practices like meditation, yoga, and spending time in nature can help us develop greater self-awareness and cultivate a more compassionate inner voice. By practicing mindfulness, we create space for self-compassion to flourish. Section 8. Common Humanity, We Are Not Alone Often when we're struggling we feel isolated and alone. We believe that we're the only ones who make mistakes, experience pain, or feel inadequate. This sense of isolation can fuel self-criticism and shame. However, recognizing our common humanity is a powerful antidote to this isolation. It's about remembering that we're all in this together. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone experiences pain and suffering. No one is perfect. When we connect with our common humanity, we realize that we're not alone in our struggles. This realization can foster a sense of belonging, connection, and self-compassion. Section 9. Self-kindness in action. Self-compassion is more than just a concept. It's a way of life. It's about making choices that support our well-being and treating ourselves with kindness in our daily lives. Here are some examples of how to put self-compassion into action. Set healthy boundaries. It's okay to say no to requests that drain your energy or compromise your well-being. Prioritize your needs and make time for self-care. Practice gratitude. Focus on the good things in your life, no matter how small. Cultivating gratitude can shift your perspective and boost your mood. Engage in activities you enjoy. Make time for hobbies, passions, and activities that bring you joy. Nurturing your interests can boost your self-esteem and sense of fulfillment. Section 10. The Gift of Forgiveness Forgiving ourselves and others is a profound act of self-compassion. Holding on to anger, resentment, or guilt keeps us tethered to the past and prevents us from moving forward. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning harmful actions. 
It simply means choosing to release the burden of the past and create space for healing and peace. It's about acknowledging that everyone makes mistakes and that holding on to anger hurts us more than anyone else. When we practice forgiveness, we free ourselves from the weight of the past and open ourselves up to greater joy, love, and compassion. Embrace self-compassion today. Self-compassion and forgiveness are not luxuries, they are essential ingredients for a fulfilling and meaningful life. By embracing these qualities, we cultivate greater resilience, inner peace, and stronger relationships. Start by noticing your self-talk, practicing self-kindness, and acknowledging your common humanity. Remember that you're worthy of love and compassion, just as you are. If you found this essay helpful, please share it with others who might benefit from its message. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and healing. May you be well and embrace the power of self-compassion in your life. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content on self-compassion and forgiveness. Don't forget to like and share. Remember, every moment is an opportunity for a new beginning. Self-compassion is a continuous journey. Thank you for being a part of this journey.